14 months of R&D. 652 hours of physical preparation. The international flight. The course inspection. Time, time training. training. Suspension, suspension tuning. tuning. Qualification. More suspension tuning. Race day. All the hopes and all the stress. Oh, ah, oh, there's a flat tire. It's got a flat, yeah. yeah. Gone in less than a second. To me, this place is, it's my favorite track every year. Since my first year junior, I've done well here. And every time I come back, I'm just happy and excited to ride. That track is really hard to figure out setup wise. No, but if you go low, you have to go below that bush. You cannot really find the perfect bike for both. So you have to compromise between the top and the bottom. It's flat at the start. You have to sprint as hard as possible. You have to look basically through the trees. And then all of a sudden the terrain just goes, breaks away from you. Tight turns. Pulls for big jumps. All of everything you could ever dream of on a mountain bike, and it has to be done while physiology is already peaked out. That one to here, and then you get, like you use these to get high, and then you turn down. Mm -hmm. like, Kevin's always stressing, but he's always like, oh, I didn't sleep well last night because I was thinking too much about the bike. But he always seems to find the best setup possible for me at this track. I think we've got a bit of a routine and a bit of experience setting up good bikes here. Success will indeed require having the proper bike set up. Being truly competitive will necessitate the proper physical preparation. Victory demands the right combination of psychology and strategy, just not unnecessarily in that order. Altitude racing, uh, basically there's less oxygen. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Let's all just take a deep breath. I thought we covered this last season. Technically, what Miss Courtney just said is not entirely accurate. The composition of oxygen molecules in the atmosphere is always 21%. But at the 2,000 metre racing elevation here in Val Nord, the reduced standard barometric pressure of 81 kilopascals means that there are 20% fewer molecules of oxygen in any given volume of air. Okay, Neil deGrasse Tyson, the end effect on athletic performance remains the same, right? Um, yes. You can feel great and go hard, but you don't recover as well as you do at sea level where you're getting so much oxygen. Got to ride your own race. Six laps, then we're already underway. Then round three of this year's Mercedes-Benz UCI Cross Country World Cup. But it's the world champ leading at the moment. Went out really hard and made the cardinal sin of altitude racing, you know, following a bunch of attacks and being really aggressive at the beginning. Oh, this one's going to hurt. Go on, all out, Mark. Can she sustain this effort until the end? You're like, I'm amazing. Uh, I'm, I, like, will I finish? I hope. Back to seventh now, some 12 seconds back for Kate Courtney. During the race, positions shift a lot. There are some fast starters that don't make it through. Drop back to 14th was like barely battling. And there are also some riders that really start um, a little bit slower. She was 30 seconds, seven seconds back. She's not anymore, so Neff has joined this leading group. It took me some time to find my rhythm, to find my pace, and then once I had found it, I came back to the front. Actually, Yolanda Neff in second place. One to go then here. There she goes, it's alongside. And Neff now goes to the front. When it's Yolanda Neff, you don't want to enter the downhill in a, in a second place. This is an attack, yes it is. Look at this, turns to go away from Neff. From that moment on, I dare to not save energy anymore, to be as fast as possible at the finish line. And a Tufter is going to make history as the first woman from the Netherlands to take a cross-country World Cup win. She's done it. You know, it shows the depth of the women's field and that anyone in that top five, top ten, can win on a given day. A brilliant ride for second place. And that's what makes it so challenging and keeps all of us uh, you know, really searching for our A game. Kate, not a bad race for her, I would say. Eighth place. No, that's right. I think the person who wins the overall is the best in that year. Even if delivering means 
crawling your way back to an eighth place. I can get rid of the hat and glasses if you want, doesn't matter. Uh, my name is Dave Isles and I am Finn Isles' dad. <laughs> is it a big mission? Uh, at times, yeah. When I'm on the rhythm, you know, we don't stop. Oh, 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 it's it's not gonna be no good place to lose any. Lose your forward from everybody again. No! It's a disaster for Finn Isles! And that could have been a lot, lot worse. Rhythm, you know, we don't stop. I think for Finn, the fear of losing is bigger than the fear of crashing, really. That's his style. He's, he's pushing it. He's pushing the edge. You know, he could sit back and aim for a 20th, or he's aiming for the top. So I can see that he does a lot of things according to what I do, because he wants to kind of use my experience. But sometimes he's just too confident, I think. I knew how fast I was on that track, and I knew I had the speed to get on the podium or potentially fight for a win. Well, watch out for this man, Finn Isles. The only man in qualifying that was on pace with uh, Louis Bruni, his teammate. Uh, a man on a mission. Has he been down this dirt all down his left-hand side? Yeah, when it's like this. Oh, oh. Uh, there's a flat tire. He's got a flat, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've crashed, and it's just not sustainable. I don't know how I've been injured or anything like that. I would say to him, you know, just try to be smooth, try to be smart, but I think that's one of those things you have to learn on your own. Dealing with that was uh, disappointing because this is a good course. Everything felt right, and then uh, flat tire. Yeah, pretty devastating. So what exactly is the problem? Is it between the tape or between the ears? Is the missing piece mental or mechanical? The bike, I, there is two scenarios of the bike. Some people could be saying, ah, Loic is a dick. He developed a, a bike for him and doesn't care about Finn. That's the, the hater scenario. And there is the other scenario, ah, oh, Loic is amazing. He developed a great bike for him and also a great bike for Finn. So we have both of us, a really good bike. So you choose your scenario. And what's your scenario, what do you think? Uh, I think about what I like when I develop a bike, but I know also what Finn's like and what a bike has to be doing to work. Finn trusts me a lot and trusts Jacko and Kebab. Even though there's still a lot of work to do, with the amount of time we had, we nailed the, the development. Do you think Loic has a faster bike than you? I would say no because we're riding the same bike. It's a bike that suits me and I can um, definitely push myself on. I think at this moment in time, just a little bit better than me. We'll see about that. Well, here he is then, the world champion. loic has got this super, he's got this style. Nothing looks like it's bothering him. And it's all about how stable his hips stay. stays in pretty much the same place no matter what the bike or the trail does or asks. Quarter a second! Is it going to be enough to see Bruni take the win or is it going to be... Oh, Lawrence it's going to be nice. Coming down to the last big boom, I was like hearing the guy fall. The finish line was so far away, so I was like, no! Nah. So I sprinted everything I had and I was like, and I hear him saying one. So I cross the line, look at Loris on the hot seat, see Loris melting like, and I was like, oh, and I look back, and it was me first. For me, the overall is the holy grail, and this year, I'm in the best position right now to reach it, so... And now, ladies and gentlemen, the your winner of today in the Elite Men category, Yeah, it's crazy. I changed something this year, but I can't point it. So it's really hard to win and to be consistent like that. It's my uh, duty, kind of, now to keep it easy and... Um, yeah, 
Don't get up the rest of the season.